Good day and welcome to the dining room table. United Nations General Assembly vote. Iran speaks. I now invite the representative of the Islamic Republic of Iran to take the floor. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Mr. President, the situation before us is quite clear. One member state, a permanent member of Security Council, misusing its unequal authority of veto power and in clear disregard to the united will of international community, has decided to stand with Israeli criminal regime and materially enable this regime in its ongoing massacre against civilians in Gaza. The United States blatantly opposing a ceasefire with means prescribing war violence and eventually more death for children and women in Gaza. As highlighted by Secretary General in his recent briefing before the Security Council, no place in Gaza is safe and there is an imminent risk of a total collapse of the humanitarian support system. The Secretary General using his authority under Article 99 of the United Nations Charter has urgently called upon the Security Council to intervene and bring a halt to the Israeli regime's attack in Gaza. This call received full support from the international community. The United Nations Charter initially predicted the power of veto as a tool to maintain and ensure international peace and security. However, today, this authority is frequently abused to obstruct the very establishment of peace and security. This trend is a clear alarm, signaling the imperative need to eliminate such discriminatory practices. Mr. President, over the past two months, we have witnessed a violent act of aggression carried out by Israeli armed forces in Gaza Strip, resulting in the death of more than 18,000 Palestinian civilians. The situation on ground entails all risk factors for genocide and definition on the Article 2nd of Convention on the prevention and punishment of the crime of genocide, which bear responsibility for all member states to impede and prevent its occurrence. This regime had been pursuing a scorched earth policy by deliberately destroying infrastructure and residential building in manner that there is no place to live in the Gaza. These barbaric crimes must be addressed by international community in a decisive manner and Palestinians must be protected internationally. Considering the major failure of the Security Council in addressing the situation in ground, we remind responsibility of all member states on the international law regarding the need to prevent genocide and war crimes and reiterate our call for regional and national measures that in any practical way could hinder the violence and deal with the current situation. In conclusion, my delegation has voted in favor of resolution considering the urgency of the situation and a strong need to address the dire humanitarian condition in Palestine and would like to put on record that <clears throat> our support for the resolution is without prejudice to our long-standing and constant national position on issue related to the question of Palestine and non-recognition of the Israeli regime. Today's vote by the General Assembly is a victory for blood of brave martyrs of the Gaza over the Israeli's war machine and clearly indicate international will. I thank you, Mr. President.